Hello everyone and welcome to the next video of Darsim Simulator tutorial series. If you have not watched the previous series, please go and do so because you need all those information in order to be able to continue with this series. Today we will discuss how you can compare the fine scale with multi-scale or homogenization runs. For this we will use SPE10 top layer uh, model as our 2D test case. So the SPE10 uh, top layer test case will be uh, the same as before. The only difference is that we use a single phase flow model this time and we discretize the system into 216 times 54. So in total about 11,600 grid cells. The reason that we choose this discretization numbers is um, that we are going to use multi-scale or uh, homogenization so we will use also coarse scale uh, grid cells and for those we need to make sure that our grid numbers in x and y di direction are dividable by a smaller number such as 9 in this example same as before let us go to the Darsim examples repository on GitLab this is the address I have explained it before as well you go to the folder multi-scale course and then multi-scale vs homogenization single phase in this folder you will see that there is three subfolders three different test cases all of them are the same model but one of them runs for fine scale the other one runs for uh, homogenization or upscale version and the other one uses multi-scale now i want you to download all of them we will mainly work on this folder fine scale. We will change the settings as such that we can run fine scale, multi scale, and homogenization within the same test case after changing the settings at every turn. However, if you download all these subfolders, the settings and configurations of the input files are set in such a way that uh, they run for their uh, corresponding. Uh, settings as stated already the name of the folder already explains it so fine scale we run for fine scale multi scale ones with the fine multi scale method and so on now download these three folders I have already downloaded them and uh, I explained how you would how you can download for example you go inside the fine scale folder there is three text file you need three of them all three of them so download them you can also download all the folders on the on the previous section and download them as zip file and then extract them and put them everywhere in the computer uh, that you want now i have downloaded them you see that i have fine scale homogenization multi-scale now let us go inside the fine scale folder now the name single phase.txt this is the main input file again the name can be anything i have named it single phase now let's open this you will see that there is the title dimension is 220 by 60 meters times 1 meter so it's uh, actually a 2d test case i am discretizing the system into 216 by 54 this is done because i want to be able to divide it by a specific number in this case 9. now the total time does not matter because this is an in single phase incompressible fluid model so there will be no time dependency so this is a time independent simulation so this actually does not matter however i just put it as one the permeability will be the heterogeneous permeability file that we have the name of it is perm underline spe 10 t and we will load that file it will be in midi darcy and in linear scale however i want to first one a homogeneous test case because this also helps you understand how you can run a homogeneous test case without calling a permeability file in order to do so uh, you will remove the capital include keyword and then instead of the, the name of the file you just put a value don't forget because the unit is in milli darcy and i want to have um, a reasonable value for permeability let's say 10 milli darcy or 100 milli darcy i just put it as a number that matches this unit so my permeability in x direction is going to be 10 milli darcy for now let us have isotropic system so all the permeabilities in x and y and z direction will be 
10 milliliters. So don't forget that you have to delete all the include uh, keywords. Okay, so for now we are just going to run a homogeneous test case. Later we also run it with the permeability of SP10 top layer. Porosity is 0 0.2. The fluid densities are same as the previous video. I have not changed anything here. The rail term for now we keep it as linear. You can later change it if you want to core or quadratic with the corresponding parameters. The fluid model is said this is the difference between this video and the previous one. The fluid model you have to type single phase exactly as it is and it is case sensitive. So obviously we have only one phase and only one component in our system. The initial pressure of our system is 200 bars or 2 times 10 to the power of 7. Initial saturation is 1. I, I, uh, I don't uh, need to mention the saturation because it is a single phase so basically this does not matter but let's just keep it this way. As you saw in the in the schematic here, I have one well, an injection well in the bottom left corner and production well at the top right corner. 500 bar injection, 100 bar production. So these are the well settings. Later, if time allows, we will also put another two wells, another injection well on the top left corner and another production well on the bottom right corner. So you'll see how you can add a configuration, add another well to the system. But for now, let's just keep it as it is. So the injection well at the bottom left corner, a production well at the top right corner. The simulator settings file, I have already opened it. This has the technical configuration of the simulator. We will have only one report. It does not matter anyways because this is a time independent simulation so it will not run for more than just one step. This also doesn't apply but the minimum and maximum time size of the time step is mentioned here between one day to 30 days. Again, this does not matter. The output format of the results of the simulator will be in VTK as such that the ParaView can open those files and I am adding this keyword underneath it all in capital letters with underlines separating the words plot basis functions because when we want to run multi-scale and homogenizing we will have basis functions and we want to plot them and see how they look like and we are using a fully implicit method however here we have only one equation so basically this does not matter and uh, our linear server is in direct so matlab backslash operator now i will explain about these terms later because for now we are running fine scale but these are the configuration to allow you to run multi-level multi-scale so multi-scale in different core setting levels or homogenization okay now let us open matlab And run the fine scale version of this test case and see how the result look like make sure that you are inside src folder the first thing that you need to type is a dar sim again case sensitive so be careful dar sim res sim and you will give two strings as input argument the first one as i mentioned before is the full path to the input directory and then the name of the main input file complete including the file extension in this case single phase dot txt so we put it here and you press enter you see some warnings please ignore them they are not important right now so it says that it's a uh, It's a single phase incompressible problem, so it has no time dependency. And after one extra iteration, convergence happens and you have the result. So print the solution at zero days. So no time dependency. One more time. So you see that if you if you refresh the browser of your computer, you see that there is now an output folder. And you go to VTK and these are the two output results to view with ParaView. The first one is the initial one. The second one is after obtaining the solution. I just realized that I actually forgot to save the main input file after changes that I made to the permeability and I made it homogeneous. So I had to, I have to run the simulator again. So I saved it and then I basically do the same 
command dar sim res sim the full path to the directory and the full name of the input file okay now please open paraview to be able to visualize these files and then browse and go to the folder where these ptk files exist for simplicity i just copy the entire path and paste it inside paraview window and then press navigate you see that these two files are the files that we want to visualize so select the group of the btk files and press ok and press apply select surface and choose perm x or the permeability so you'll see that the permeability is actually homogeneous everywhere at this point in time and it's 10 to power of minus 14 meters square choose pressure change the color map to jet this is optional you don't have to do that and press this icon that remaps the color bar to the all to all the values across all the uh, results now you'll see that the pressure at the initial time which is time step zero is around two so it's actually 200 bars but the color bar is a scale from one to five times 10 to the power of seven or between 100 bar to 500 bar now if you go to the next you'll see a homogeneous permeability plot from the injection to the production now i want to show you how you can add an extra well of injection in the top left corner and then an extra production to the bottom right corner this is just for ease of understanding then i will delete them so copy paste the configuration for the injection and put it underneath obviously in order to put it at the top left corner you have to change some of these coordination values so the x is between actually or i or the the number of grid or the index of the grid in x direction is from one to one but for the j or the vertical direction is in y direction is from 1 to n y this will add basically just another well on the top uh, left corner we're gonna do the same for the production so copy paste the production well configuration put it underneath now we have one production at n x n y so all the way to the top right corner we need one production at nx but at one. Oh, make sure that you also put this at ny ny even though it does not matter because this is not a one this is not a 3d system so one one ny ny one nz this is the second injection well nx nx one 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 nz this is the second production well the first production well was nx nx ny ny one nz save the input file make sure that you save it again call the command you can easily press up and matlab will automatically fill it up for you based on your last call for this command okay done now we go on paraview you can either right click on the file and then click on this file and then say reload files reload existing files we can all either do that we could also delete this open again select the group of the vtk files press apply obviously you have to press the surface the color map configuration will stay the same so you choose p1 and you will see that now you have two injection wells on the bottom and top left corners and two production wells at the bottom and top right corners now let us get back to the previous well configuration that we had so we delete the second production and we delete the second injection this was just for you to see how you can add extra wells now we go to the simulator make sure that you save this we go to the simulator settings file and now in order to make it a multi-scale simulation 
you have to have this keyword capital M capital M small s or MMS standing for multi-level multi-scale you set that to be one exactly this way so that means that multi-level multi-scale is active please ignore this DLGR for now and its corresponding value you can have multiple levels of coursing you can have two levels of coursing even three levels of coursing but right now we just want to try multi-scale we do one coursing level so then you have this capital levels keyword and then underneath you mention number of levels so i'm mentioning only one the coursing ratio tells you what is the number of grid cells that you have in one course cell you will see how this is explained inside the short course but right now just assume that this is a 9 times 9 times 1 course block so every course block is 9 times 9 actually for 2d so this does not matter but you put it as 1 and you use the pressure interpolator these are the type of the basis functions that you have you have to use this capital letter keyword with an underline separating these two words pressure interpolator this is not important I'm just putting it for you to understand that you need you have two options and you write multi scale with capital M the rest are in small letters this will force the simulator to use multi scale using the multi scale basis function at one level of coarsening using nine times nine coarsening grid cells and we will be able to plot the basis functions okay now I want you to go to MATLAB and run this test case one more time you can also run the test case in the corresponding in the corresponding folders but right now we just want to work on one series of input files so you will see dynamically what you should change if you want to run fine scale or multi-scale or homogenization so you go on your MATLAB and you use the same command to run the simulation one more time simulation is done and it's finished there will be some extra information printed on the console or the command window of MATLAB you will see that it says one level multi-scale run constructing the course grid it's nine times nine it creates the restriction and prolongation operators for multi-scale and then it starts solving the system now we want to go to power view and visualize the result before we go to power view open the folder again go to the output and then vtk subfolder now you see that there are extra vtk files printed out for you these two spe10t reservoir 0 and spe10 reservoir 0 1 these were the files that we already had the solution at the initial state or and after solving the system now you have one file that prints the result of the basis functions at coarsening level one now you have two extra files these are for the greeting of the dual course grids of the multi-scale we can use them in order to visualize and make us understand better the positioning of the basis functions and how the wire basket system uh, the, the the greeting looks like when you have multi-scale now go to power view you can delete this open all these files together so the group of the normal files the dual course grid files and the basis function bf stands for basis function basis function files when you select all of them using control and then click of the mouse you can ok press ok and you can open all of them press apply select number two and number three now we are just the the name the first and the normal file that we already opened before choose surface now we can see the pressure result as it was before the only things this is actually the multi-scale pressure solution it does not look that different from the finest scale because we are using multi-scale basis function but this is actually an approximated solution which during the course everything is explained to you now in order for you to see the wire basket dual course grid 
of your of your multi scale you can choose instead of pressure dual course type make sure that you press this button because it might be the case that for you the color map is not uh, scaled properly from the from all the values in the simulator every type of the grid is assigned a number that's why you see one two or three so one is basically these vertices or the course notes and then number two are the edges and number three are the faces or the interior cells you can also choose the different color bar if you want it's, it's optional now here you'll see that this is your dual course grid system using the second file SPE 10 T Reservoir 1 level 000 you can also add the primal course grid so you'll see how the course grids look like the primal course grid so you can select this and on top of this you don't have to deselect the first one you can choose for the second file instead of outline wireframe now you can see these are your primal course grid but what you were seeing before was your dual course grid you can also visualize the basis functions deselect the first two choose the third file and click press surface you can zoom in if you want and every basis function is plotted with an index as a separate property so when you select bf001 this is the basis functions nine times nine basis function that you have in the beginning of the top bottom left corner of your system this is the basis function that you have afterwards next to it basis function number three basis function number four you can also use your uh, keyboard up and down button to move between them so these are the basis functions that you have basis function number 30 for example you can also go all the way to the basis function 144 which is the final basis function that you have now you can also use other layers to be able to visualize everything in order to do so you can actually change the opacity of the basis functions slightly now you can see now you can see that the basis functions you can also zoom in and then move you can see the basis function that is plotted within the within the primal course grid but its influence region of influence goes all the way to the next dual course grid so for the basis function that is plotted here with this region you put a value one here zero 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 and the basis function is plotted when i move there is an artifact on parallel so don't worry about this so now you are able to see all the the way to visualize the basis function the primal grid and also the dual course grid and again this was your pressure now we want to go back and run instead of multi-scale homogenization basically your permeability are upscaled to a coarser scale and then the, si the simulation runs and the system is solved in a coarser scale now you will see the difference between using multi-scale or homogenization in order to do so go back to the vtk file open the simulator settings.txt file I already have it open here in order to make it homogenization version of simulation you keep the multi-level multi-scale one and then you use DLGR keyword and set the value of it to be one you use the same one level of coarsening same coarsening ratio this time instead of using multi-scale basis function as pressure interpolator we use constant basis function so 
instead of multi scale you type constant with capital C but the rest of the letters are in small this is actually a specific version of multi scale that uses constant basis function which makes it similar to upscaling or homogenization press save make sure that you save it now you call the same command again the same path the same name name for the for the uh, main input file and you press enter now you will see that it says homogenization of permeability for dlgr it calculates an effective upscale permeability at coarsening level one for all the coarse grids this is done and then it comes calculates the multi-scale restriction and prolongation operator with constant basis functions basically and then it solves the linearized system now let us go and see the result the output files will look like as multi-scale so if we go to power view you can basically delete these files using the delete button on your keyboard keyboard or you could also just right click and delete you can also choose more of them simultaneously and delete again open select the groups of these three vtk files press ok and then apply the first thing that i want you to do is to deselect the, the second and third files choose the first file go make it surface as layout and then pressure now you will see that you don't have the fine tuned approximated pressure solution that was obtained using the basis function for multi-scale now this is an actual homogenized version or upscale so the value of pressure for the entire block of 9 by 9 is the same you can actually see by the way that every individual grid if you use surface with edge now you are able to see all the grids so you see that actually one block that has the same pressure is 9 by 9 fine grid cells also the next one the next one the reason that I usually don't choose surface with edge is that you can barely see the color map and the differences between the values of pressure on every course block because of the because of the dense grid lines that Paraview puts on them so let's go back to surface now you will see that this is this is actually 216 by 54 grids but your pressure blocks are coarse and every block has in identical pressure across all the 9 times 9 or 81 grid cells you can also visualize the basis functions that were used for homogenization so deselect the first one select the third one zoom in choose surface and choose every other basis function that you want now you'll see that the value of basis function is constant and is not changed so you don't see the pattern that was selected now I want you to go back to the main input file single phase.txt open it and go and make your permeability heterogeneous how do you do that you bring back the keyword include before the permeability underline x keyword and then here instead of the value of 10 you write a complete name to the permeability file so if you go to find a scale folder you see that the name is perm underline spe 10 txt you can either type or like me copy the entire name and paste it here instead of 10 we do the same so we copy this include word in capital letters we paste it behind all the three permeability keywords x y z i also copy the perm underline spe10t.txt also paste it instead of 10 for all the three permeabilities now you are going to run a heterogeneous test case so again let's go back to the simulator settings.txt open that as well and deselect or make mms to be zero so now we are going to run fine scale let us run a fine scale test case 
again you can call the same command now you have run this test case for heterogeneous also delete these files open the group of files SPE 10T reservoir press apply surface and then pressure now this is the result of pressure at fine scale now we want to run this for uh, multi scale before I do so I want to also show you the permeability that you have this is the permeability map you can change the color bar to jet this is not this is optional you don't have to but if you don't see much in this map you can also change the scale using this option to log this was your permeability map between 3 times 10 minus 18 all the way to 4.6 times 10 to power of minus 12 square meters now go back to the simulator settings and configure it as such that it be run for multi-scale using multi-scale basis function so make MMS to be 1 make DLGR to be 0 make sure that you do that the pressure interpolator or the basis function should be again multi-scale you can just copy this and paste it instead of constant save your file again go to MATLAB run the same command now we have run it for multi-scale using multi-scale basis function you can again delete this file delete the selected in the pipeline browser open the group of three files that we were opening before and press apply now deselect number two and number three the first one you make it surfaces layout so you see, you see that the per permeability is still heterogeneous now let's have a look at the pressure this is actually the multi-scale pressure result an approximated instead of fine scale an approximated solution but it's very similar to uh, fine scale now you can also see the basis functions and you'll see that the basis functions are not the same as for the homogeneous test case because heterogeneity is different you have different permeability and the basis functions were taking the heterogeneity into account so this is the first basis functions that you have this is the second basis function so you see that the shape of each basis function according to heterogeneity that is underneath it is different third basis function fourth basis function I can zoom back and using my keyboard up and down arrows I can move between them so every basis function you'll see it's different so you can visualize every basis function in a 2d manner using up and down down arrow buttons in your keyboard or also the list of all the basis functions so the final basis function looks like this you can also bring the, the dual course part by changing the opacity of the basis functions from one slightly lower so you can also see the underlying dual course grid you can also use the second file highlight it select it and go to wireframe to be able to see the primal course grid as well so play around with the settings visualization settings of PowerView the way that you desire to visualize and see the basis function you can change the opacity of either the basis function or change the opacity of the dual course grid you can dif highlight different options in such a way that you can visualize what you what is important to you in order to see you can play around please have a look at the tutorials for PowerView software so you will get familiar with the with the options and the settings in PowerView now let us go back and this time run the heterogeneous test case for upscale version so keep the MMS settings to be 1 
change DLGR from 0 to 1 and now change the pressure interpolators from multi-scale basis function to constant basis functions copy and paste instead of multi-scale make sure that you save the simulator settings txt file go back to MATLAB run the same command you can press the up arrow again it will fill it up for you automatically and press enter now you see that it says homogenization of permeability for DLGR calculating effective permeability coarsening level 1 so it creates an upscale version of the permeability based on the coarsening level and coarsening grids now you have the solution you can go to power view again delete all these files together open again select the three files open them now deselect number two and number three now let us see surface and see first the permeability so permeability is heterogeneous and this is the upscale version of your pressure from the injection to the production you see how different it is compared to the multi-scale you can also go deselect this select the third file and see the basis functions as well so choose surface as layout and then go and choose any of the basis function you see now that the basis functions are as the homogenization that we ran for the homogeneous test case homogenization for the heterogeneous test case has also the same basis function the basis functions are all constant ones so they are not taking the heterogeneity into account